Okay, welcome back everybody. And for this video, uh, the second part of a two series part, I'll be discussing um, the reverse reaction, which is you start off with an imine and you go to the aldehyde or ketone or whatever the hell you call it, okay? Um, so, again, so part number two, excuse me, reaction two, you have an imine um, plus you have your acidic conditions, right? H plus H2O. And it will give you your aldehyde and your aldehyde or ketone plus your, um, what do you call it, the primary amine. Okay, so those are the two things you form from this reaction. So if you have an imine plus H plus and H2O, uh, you, give an, you get an aldehyde or ketone plus a primary amine. Okay, so you guys know what an imine is, what an aldehyde or ketone is, a primary amine is, so that's all set. Now, similar to the first reaction where you like to label your star carbon and whatnot, you want to do the same thing here. And in this case, the star carbon has a little bit of a different meaning. Your star carbon, in this case, your star carbon in this case, in this specific reaction, is equal to um, the carbon of your amine. Okay? Depending on the reaction, depending on the starting material, your star carbon will have different meanings, okay? And again, the whole point of this is just to help you with labeling your starting material and helping you in determining the product, okay? It's a really easy way. A lot of people get confused on where to draw the imine, the enamine, starting material, so on and so forth. So this is a helpful way, helpful little technique I came up with to help students and so on and so forth, okay? so. Again, in this case, since we're starting off with an imine, the carbon of your imine is your star carbon, okay? So let's get right into it, and let's draw our aldehyde or ketone and our primary amine, okay? So, let's just say, let's start off simple, nice and easy. We get, we'll get progressively hard eventually, okay? So let's just say we have this imine right here. Okay, I forgot to draw the R group. Okay, so that's an imine, right? You have your carbon nitrogen double bond with an R group hanging off of it. Okay, and so let's label our star carbon and remember in this case our star carbon is the carbon of our imine. Right there. And it's not this carbon here. It's not the carbon of the R group. It's the excuse me, it's the carbon of the carbon nitrogen double bond. So instead of, let's put it like this, okay? Like, let's change it up a little bit. Your star carbon in this case actually, you know, to make it more specific so people don't find any damn excuses to blame it on me. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Um, your star carbon will be your, um, the carbon of the double bond of nitrogen, okay? So the carbon of your C double bond N. Okay, that should be more specific for you guys, okay? Star carbon, in this case, is the carbon of your C double bond N, okay? A little bit more of a specific definition, okay? So, that's that, okay? So there's your star carbon, and we're doing this reverse reaction, so we'll treat it with H plus and water. So, the star carbon is where you're going to form the aldehyde or ketone, basically the carbonyl. Okay. So again, in order to draw the product, what I like to do is similar to the first part where I draw the starting material without the double bonded O. In this case, I'm going to draw the starting material without the double bonded nitrogen and R group. So I'll draw this piece right here with the star there. Okay. So now since we're doing the reverse and we're forming an aldehyde or ketone, all we have to do now for the reverse reaction is 
add a double bonded oxygen to the star carbon. And that's it. That's our aldehyde. And in this case, and the last thing we need is our primary amine. Our primary amine is this piece here. Is that piece there. Okay. So it's our nitrogen with our CH3. And remember what I said earlier in the first part, a primary amine is one R group and two H's attached to a nitrogen. So we need our H's here. And there is our primary amine. Okay, good. My voice cracked, I'm sorry. Okay, so there's our primary amine. So two H's and a methyl group right there hanging off of it. So that's good. Let's go over another example. Um, again, we'll get progressively harder these examples. So, um, let me think of an example. I'm coming with these examples off the top of my head. Let's see. Okay, this will be a little bit difficult, okay, but I think you guys can do it. Um, let's say right here we have this ring with an imine inside of it, okay? So again, this is our imine. There's a carbon nitrogen double bond. And we're going to treat this with H plus in water. And we're going to form our aldehyde or ketone plus our primary amine. So this is a very unique example. Um, you would expect from the little schematic I drew for you guys up top that you will form two products, basically your aldehyde or ketone and your primary amine. But in this case, since you have a ring and in this ring, your amine is attached within it. Um, you're going to form one product because your primary amine is going to be hanging off of this piece right here. Okay, so you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, in a second. So again, the first thing what I like to do is draw our star carbon, label our star car carbon. So there it is, right there. Again, I specified it for you guys earlier, uh, and that is your carbon of your carbon nitrogen double bond okay so what I like to do again is draw the starting material um, in this case you can't really draw the starting material excuse me the starting material without this piece here is because at the end it's attached to it it's going to be just a long chain so let's do this in this case where you have these rings what I'll do is draw a you'll see what I'm talking about hold on one second let's do this okay so let's draw our star carbon here and we know that to the star carbon we're going to have a double bonded oxygen attached to it so let's draw our double bonded oxygen attached to it right there perfect like I said earlier that in this case everything is going to be hanging off of one long chain that is exactly what's going to happen so the best thing to do is label this with ones and twos or ABC's whatever you want to label it so you don't forget the amount of carbons so let's label those so one, two, three, four, five. So, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we drew our aldehyde right there, and now we need our primary amine. So in this case, our primary amine will be this piece right here but again it's going to be hanging off of it so we'll have our NH2 something like that I should honestly I should have sh uh, saved this example for later okay because it is a little bit difficult some students get confused with it actually I shouldn't even have showed you guys this but oh well so be it um, so there you have it okay so there's your uh, excuse me your aldehyde and your primary amine so again you want to label your star carbon, which is the carbon of your C double bond end. When you have rings, you want to label the ring so you don't forget the amount of carbons. So we have five carbon ring. With, it was a six atom ring, a hetero ring. Five of them were um, carbons. So let's see. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hanging off of carbon number five is your primary amine. Hanging off of carbon number one is your car is basically your carbonyl, right? So there you have it. Okay? So there is the product of this reaction. 
Let's go over one more reaction. I hope I didn't confuse you guys with this example. Again, this is a little bit more difficult, um, but I think you guys should have the tools necessary to answer these questions. Uh, let's go over one more example. What are we at? 10, 11, 10, 12? Okay, one more example. Let's do this fast, come on. Um, last example. Uh, let's see what I have in mind. Mm. Shit. Uh, okay, let's do this one. Um, Oh, I could I could have really made this example difficult, but forget it. Um, so there you have that primary amine. Excuse me, what am I saying? Here's your imine. Um, it's past my bedtime, so my brain is not working. I'm just messing. Okay, so again, here's your primary. Uh, damn, I said it again. Here's your imine reacting it with H plus and H2O. So you're gonna form an aldehyde or ketone plus a primary amine. So in this case, the imine is not located within the ring, but outside of the ring. So in this case, you'll form two products, not just one, like the previous example. First thing you want to do is label the star carbon, which is the carbon of your C double bond end, N. And there it is. So let's draw our starting material without this piece here. Okay, there you have it. And to that star carbon, since we're going to be forming an aldehyde or ketone, because it's the reverse reaction, we're going to attach a double bonded O. So that's one of the products. So there's your ketone in this case. And let's draw our primary amine. Our primary amine will be this piece here, right? So we have our nitrogen, our one, two, three carbon group hanging off of it and two H's. So there you have it. There's our ketone and our primary amine. Okay, so there you guys have it. Um, this is the reaction. Uh, this is the reverse reaction to form um, aldehydes or ketones and a primary amine starting from a imine. Okay. Uh, so stay tuned for some more videos. Um, like I said, I apologize uh, for not uh, creating more videos you know consistently throughout the months you know I just get really busy I was taking a pretty crazy course load I was taking like physical chemistry and a bunch of different classes um, so I didn't have enough time so again um, I have about a month and a half off so during a month and a half expect a lot of videos so hope you guys enjoyed this video um, so stay tuned for some more videos like I said uh, again feel free to shoot me uh, emails or messages with topics you'd like me to discuss I'll try to get to it if I have time uh, so thank you for watching this is Mobile 12 and I'll see you guys soon bye bye <laughs>